Good afternoon, guys. Welcome. Glad you joined me. Uh, we're still here at the Walmart in Watertown, New York. Uh, we took our break here. We've done a little shopping, and uh, we're kind of getting ready to go now. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. And it's 35 degrees out, so not too cold. Anyway, we are uh, getting ready to head out down to Fulton. We've got to drop this empty and uh, bobtail out to Ohio to get to the shop for tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining me, guys. So we've been at the Walmart all night. We went in, did a little shopping and stuff, and uh, got some food for the fridge here. Thought I'd show you what I got here. Here's the fridge. It's a pull-out fridge. Just pulls out like so. All right, so we got some sour cream, which I brought from home, which is for tacos. Here's a chicken spicy mustard wrap that I can eat for a lunch or something. Here's another pinwheel Italian wrap that we can eat for Italian-style wrap that we can eat for lunch. I uh, got some bacon for my eggs, and then I got some, uh, these look good, they're sirloin steak tips that I can uh, put in my frying pan and saute or something with a little little uh, Kerrygold butter, which is right here. Kerrygold butter, I like that butter, good butter. And I got some fresh tomato, onion, and all that stuff cut up in there. This is hamburger meat that I cooked at home for uh, tacos. Got a big old hunk of cheese here and eggs underneath. Eggland's best eggs underneath. And uh, some shredded cheese. Shredded cheese for the tacos. And then I got some soda in the back there. I gotta stop drinking that. This stuff's bad for you. All right, well, we got a freezer too. I'll kind of show you what we got in here without it all falling out. These are uh, Jamaican style meat pies that you can stick in the mic when you're on the go. I got two of those. I've got some rice cauliflower, uh, roasted garlic. That's good, I like that. And then this is uh, actually shrimp scampi. And what I did was I take it out of the box so it takes up less room and uh, rip the directions off the box and just leave them in the freezer <laughs> so I don't, so I know how to make it. But uh, yeah, it's small freezer, can't get too much in it. You guys have been with me a while, know I got a little burner and a frying pan and all that kind of stuff so I can cook all that. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what we have in Trucker John's freezer and fridge here. Okay, guys, we are getting on 81 South here. inspection station to be open down here. There's one there with a truck on the other side. State pooper. We'll get this trailer dropped and then we're going to head out. Get going. Took about an extra hour on my break overnight. Had a pretty good night's sleep and uh, did some shopping and now we're on our way. It's kind of cloudy out and kind of threatening. Looks like rain. It's 39 now, 39 degrees here showing on the old truck thermometer. And they got a winter weather advisory at 6 p.m. over by Buffalo and south of Buffalo along the lake. I don't know if we're going to get through there before we start getting a little bit of snow and we're going to be bobtailing so we're going to have to watch ourselves over there. Well, all the lights and everything are working on this trailer. Brakes look good. 
see what, what's going to happen. interested right now. That's good. We'll take it. Let's get on down the road and get this trailer dropped and get over to Ohio. Okay, so uh, we dropped our empty. Yeah, we're going to start heading towards Wadsworth, Ohio. We're going to get on uh, Route 104 here and run that all the way over to Rochester. And get on the other, uh, the New York State Thruway on the other side of Rochester. So, right now, my dash is showing 7.9 miles per gallon so far. Let's see how high we can get that on the way over to Ohio, bobtailing. I'd like to see 11 miles to the gallon, but I don't know if that's going to work. just over there at the office and all the loads that are going out today are all not loaded yet they're late they're running behind actually worked out good for us <laughs> to take care of what we got to do now maybe we'll get back on track by the time we come back hey we should be on our way back over here to Fulton to pick up something for Friday evening I'm thinking and we'll be over in Wadsworth tonight, which is Wednesday night. Be in the shop all day tomorrow. Hopefully we don't have to wait on any parts or anything. I think we have everything that we needed already ordered and waiting. So Unless something else comes up, you know, like you find something while he's looking over the truck. We should be, out of, be able to leave out of there uh, tomorrow night. But what we'll probably do is... Uh, wait till Friday morning when we get a 34 in. So if we get over there at say 11 o'clock tonight, we can leave there by 9 a.m. on Friday. And uh, it's like 360 miles, so about six hours drive time. So that's where we're at right now. That's what we're dealing with, working with, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have to stop somewhere along the way and get a shower and we'll do our 30 minute break then.
We're gonna have to wait and see if it's gonna be raining over there in Ohio. Kinda like to get this girl washed. Well, there's no trailer on it. Get him to do the in between the frame rails and all that. guys we just pulled into the uh, TA truck stop here in Kingsville Ohio we're gonna go grab a shower all right so we are we've got uh, we had like a hundred miles to go something like that we'll go get our shower and uh, get on down there it's raining right now so I don't know about a truck wash just looked on the radar here on the phone and uh, Looks like it might not be raining down that way, like it already passed through. So if that's the case, maybe we'll uh, get this thing washed. It's just filthy, filthy dirty. Got that salt and mud and everything built up in on the back catwalk and all over the APU and the back of the cab. It's just nasty. So 
need to get it washed. Okay guys, we decided to come to the truck wash because the rain and everything's let it up pretty much. Don't look like we're gonna be too long delayed here and just had a hot shot pull up in front of us. I think there's one in the bay right now. We're at the Blue Beacon Truck Wash here in Lodi, Seville, whatever you want to call it. Right here off of Interstate 71. Right across from the TA truck stop. So that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're out of the wash. Thing is clean, man. It's a clean machine. But just remember, this wash here, they also do a between the uh, frame rails. I mean, it costs $39.50 more, but they wash all everything underneath, between the rails, the, the uh, rear diffs, around the fifth wheel, everything. ready to go get our new dirt now. <laughs> We've got just about 12 miles. Oh, actually this thing's taking me a long way, it looks like. Probably got about uh, eh, 10 miles, I guess. We'll be over at the shop. and they did real good up around the front frame and underneath the hood and all that and had rain X and then they also did their undercarriage wash came to $114 for a wash and they did a pretty good job though
waiting. I got my floor cleaned up in here. Got all the big hunks of dirt off the floor and uh, <laughs> took my whisk broom, got everything out of the cracks and everything. Used my soapy water and washed it down. And this, this truck here has a, uh, a rubber floor in it, so it's easy to clean up. It gets filthy though, I mean, just from a couple of days really when you're in the snow and the salt and the mud and it gets filthy real quick. All right guys, so we're here at the shop and uh, as I was getting over here, my truck was trying to do a passive regen. So I could tell that it start trying to regen when I come to a stop sign or a stoplight that the turbo stays spooled up. So. I got over here, I figured I'm just going to do a, uh, I'm going to force it to do a full regen here in front of the garage. It's a good place to do it because it's a little industrial park, so I'm not going to bother anybody. Uh, sometimes I I think about doing it when I'm at a truck stop or something, but if it's quiet and people don't have their trucks running around me, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to disturb people because the truck actually kicks up to about 900 RPM while it's doing this re, uh, forced regen. So anyway, it's a good time to do it, so we'll let it do it now, and it could take up to an hour. Hopefully it'll be less, and uh, then we're going to go to bed. Give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below on your way out, and uh, subscribe, please, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.